Colin, can you yes, hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, good morning. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. I, I've got to tell you that my wife and I, I, I'm probably not supposed to have the advanced DVD. I know it comes out March 25th, but we watched it last night, and my wife went through a whole box of Kleenex. <laughs> That's a good sign. Just a wonderful book, and, and uh, I say wonderful book because uh, we're talking about Kite Runner. The, the DVD does come out uh, on March the 25th. We'll talk about that in a moment. Okay. But for the uh, eight viewers who might be out there who haven't read the book, it was selected as, uh, by many as the best book of the year uh, and is your first of two. But by training, you're not a writer, you're a doctor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I went to medical school and I was in practice for eight and a half years. Um, before I became a full-time writer. And while you were a doctor, you wrote the book, The, uh, the Kite Runner, came out in 2003. And, and for the benefit of people who have not read it, uh, number one, I would suggest that you do. And, and the fact that it's gone from the book to the movie, um, I, I don't think I've ever seen a, a movie that was taken directly from a book that was such true to form. Were you happy with the end product? Yeah, I mean, I'm very proud of it. It, it was very, very faithful to my story. Uh, it it uh, did its best to portray uh, Afghans and Afghan culture and language in an, in a, in an authentic fashion. Uh, and it was it remained uh, true to a fault to the emotions and the uh, and the the spirit, uh, the journey in the novel that the characters experienced. So uh, I was very pleased with that, and I. Um, heard from a lot of people who, who read the book who, who feel that uh, the novel uh, is honored, uh, that the film has honored the novel and is a, is, a, is a great companion piece to the novel. Let's tell all of the viewers, uh, uh, Khalid, if you would, um, a little bit about the story itself. Of course, it goes back to the Taliban, the, uh, the, the Russian uh, involvement in, in your, your home country. Tell everyone about that. Well, it's the story of Amir, who is a, a wealthy boy growing up in Kabul, prior to the Soviet uh, uh, invasion. Uh, he's a m majority ethnic uh, Pashtun. And it's a story of this boy, Amir, and his friendship with his servant, this uh, boy named Hassan, um, who's been raised with him in the same household. The two boys, even though they're master and servant, have been raised almost as brothers. And their friendship uh, uh, falters and essentially uh, shatters when Amir betrays this boy, Hassan, in a rather terrible fashion one day in the, in the winter of 1975. And after that, uh, friendship falls apart. And that day, the events that happen on that day have a very profound effect on the lives of all these characters. And we watch Amir grow into uh, a guilt-ridden man who then decides, as a grown man, to return to Afghanistan and try to correct a wrong that he committed as a boy. Uh, at the same time, it's also a story of what happened in Afghanistan, going from the fall of the, the monarchy to the Soviet invasion uh, to the formation um, of the Taliban uh, and, and, and how those political events impact the lives of the characters. So it's really the story of both the characters and also the story of what happened in Afghanistan kind of merged together. And Khalid, it's not like something that you contrived in your, uh, in your mind. This is something that you actually lived through. You were born in Kabul and, uh, and you and your family emigrated from there. Yeah, I mean, I was born and raised in Kabul. I lived there until about, I was about 11. Then I went to France and lived there for four years. And the Soviets invaded, and my family simply moved to the United States. Um, I relied on a lot of my own personal memories uh, to recreate the kite runner, recreate Kabul for uh, Amir and Hassan. Uh, this novel is not an autobiography. I'm not Amir. But there are bits and pieces of me in the pages of this novel and probably on the screen when you watch the, the DVD. Um, you know, I grew up in Kabul like Amir did prior to the Soviets. I loved uh, writing stories. I loved film. I loved flying kites. And when I came to the States, I had some of the very similar experiences as an immigrant that Amir and his father do, uh, both in the book and in the, and in the film. And so, although it's not an autobiography, there are bits and pieces of myself in the story, which I, I think is pretty typical when people write novels, especially first novels. 